Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate on how to do a paw print picture with your dog's paw. But first I wanted to thank Four Legger Shampoo for sponsoring this video and post because during the paw prints I'm going to be needing to wash off Dexter's feet. So what I'm going to do is I have a little warm water in here and then I just need to put a little bit of Four Legger Shampoo right inside. And with my handy little lid, snap it in place, and a little shake, and we are all ready to go. So the first thing that you're going to need for this project is you're going to need some paints that are non-toxic and easy to clean with soap and water. Because it's really important that we're going to be able to clean up Dexter's feet and that no paint is going to be left behind. And for our setup, you can work outside if you'd like. So what we have is we have a cozy sheet and underneath the sheet I have a plastic shower liner and then under that I have a nice foam bed for Dexter to lie down on. It's especially important to make sure Dexter has a nice cozy bed so that if we're out in public doing this, he's going to be comfortable and happy. For this particular project, I'm just using a piece of heavy duty cardstock and I actually have it attached to a clipboard so that we have a nice hard surface and that the paper doesn't move around. So I'm going to take the paint I'm going to make sure I get enough on there, but not too globby. And I'll take his pad, and I'm just pushing and covering all those foot pads. And then I'm going to take my paper, slide it underneath there, and do a nice print. Hold it, push down, lift up, and then that's what we got. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Good boy, Dexter. Good boy. And just cover that. And put it right about there. Push down. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to let his paw down. This is why I have this down here, so I can rest his paw. Good boy. <laughs> He's relaxing into it. Can I get your little footy again? Okay. <laughs> Let's get your head up, Dexter. And we're going to go right underneath that. And I'm going to do one more. Right about there. And so we have that one. So you can also let that blue one dry and then go in and do another color. So to do another color, I want to make sure that I clean those feet well. So I'm going to pull out that four-legger mix that I have a nice clean towel and I'm going to stand him up Hold under. and I do have my mom in the background holding Dexter just in case I'm going to take that foot go inside there I'm rubbing it with my hand nice little scrub-a-dub get that paint off little squeeze and then I want to do a little dry I'll double check yep all of it came off nice and easily I'm going to make sure that pad's nice and dry again. I'll do a little dab in there, make sure it's covered in there. And I'm just dabbing again. And you can do different colors too. I did that to give a quick test run. I colored each pad differently. And we're just going to put your foot over here. And there's the pink one. And then so this print, what I'm going to do is just have his paws all over. So instead of drawing flowers, we're just going to do a, a, a collage of paw prints. So there you have it, a nice little DIY for you and your dog, and it's a good memory. Um, Dexter has one that he did a long time ago when he was a puppy, and it's still above my bed. And it's always a nice, fond memory of what we did and, and how we had a great time. We actually were at the Outer Banks. So remember to pause and enjoy life, and we will see you next time. Each Wednesday, I'll be uploading new content, so don't forget to hit the subscribe and click the bell.